let's take a look at how we can actually install the Cisco Umbrella roaming client onto our lab machine. In this lab walkthrough, we will use a lab machine and take a look at what changes are required in order to get that roaming client installed and the difference that it makes on that lab machine. So with access to our Cisco umbrella deployment, we want to navigate to deployments and then we want to go down to roaming computers under core identities. And then as you can see, we don't currently have any roaming computers deployed. So what we need to do is we need to download our roaming client up here in the top right hand corner. So we'll click on that and you can see that we have a few options. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on um, only the umbrella roaming client here. And we're not going to focus on the module for the secure client yet. We'll take a look at that in a, another lab walkthrough. So we want to download the Cisco umbrella roaming client. And as you can see, it tells us that it's a standalone roaming client and it's a very uh, lightweight client at that, a DNS client. So what we'll do is we'll just select the platform that we want to download it for. So either Mac OS or Windows, we're going to say Windows and then I will transfer this file once downloaded to our lab machine and get that installed. So now that I've transferred that downloaded file of the roaming client to our lab machine, let's just first take a look at the connectivity here. So we can see that we have our IP address and we can also see that we have our DNS uh, server configured, which is the virtual appliance in this instance. So we'll just extract this file from the folder here. And then once we've done that, we can see we've got a few bits of information here. We have a readme file, we've got the organization info. Um, the readme file just gives you some information about uh, the installer and provisioning, etc. We'll just ignore that for now. And we'll go straight to setup. So we'll go to setting this up. So let's just double click setup and we'll run through the installation here. So we can see we've got the setup wizard that opens. Let's go to next, select our destination folder. We'll keep this in the program files and then we'll just go ahead and we'll install that. And this installer, when you download it from your umbrella instance, this installer is relevant to your actual umbrella tenant. And that's it, as simple as that. So that umbrella roaming client is now installed. So if we click finish there, so with that installed, if we now go to our tray at the bottom here and we open the umbrella roaming client here, we can actually see some information. So we can actually see that we are uh, protected with our virtual appliance that we've already got configured. We can see our IP address. We don't have any IPv6 details there. We can see um, whether we have IP layer enforcement on or not and that is currently not on. And then you can also see whether it's login and our client name, organization ID, which ties it to umbrella, as well as the device ID and when we've last connected. You also have a little uh, link here to run diagnostic tools if you choose to do so as well. So that's how simple it is to really protect or to install a roaming client onto a machine uh, obviously, this is a single machine. You can choose to use the readme file uh, if you choose to do so and uh, look at the different ways you can actually roll this out across a production environment. Now, if we just head back to our umbrella dashboard and we just exit out of that and let's just refresh this now because what we should actually see in roaming clients now or roaming computers is we should actually see that device now. And as you can see, we've got the identity name of that device. And we can also see that the status is green and it's protected with the VA that we already have configured in the environment at the DNS layer.
And if we expand that as well, you can see we have a few more details, uh, basically showing what we saw on the um, on the client PC side as well. You can also see the operating system version. We can change the identity name if we choose to do so. We can see the uh, umbrella roaming client version that is currently running as well. And we can see some policies that are um, actually configured as well on here as well. So it's very useful. And then we can choose to add tags if we want to do so. Um, to each of these machines, which help us kind of group and uh, identify a group of uh, roaming clients. And then we can create policies based off of the tags if we choose to do so. So that's the installation of the Umbrella roaming client. I'll see you in the next lesson.